Okay, thanks. This tells me a lot about you. In fact, you're like the majority of my patients and even like me. You live a busy life. You don't have time to worry about heart disease, especially if you feel fine most of the time. Actually, that's a healthy mental approach to life and one I highly recommend once you understand the basics of heart disease and how to prevent and reverse it. And here's why that's important. Most of my emergency patients got the shock of their lives when they suddenly had a heart attack right out of the blue. They didn't have prior symptoms or any family history of heart disease, and most of them even had cholesterol readings considered to be in the normal range. The old saying, knowledge is power, is especially relevant in the medical field, but only if you can get accurate information. For these reasons, I write a monthly newsletter, The Heart Health Report, and only include the actual results from my heart research, emergency room experience, and clinical cardiology practice. Even if you live a busy life, and let's face it, most of us do, you can read my newsletter in just a few minutes per month and get the reliable information you need to prevent and reverse heart disease. And here's something else you'll appreciate. After 29 years of serving on the front lines of heart medicine, including having experienced my own heart attack scare, I wrote an easy-to-use guide called Fix It, Dr. Crandall's 90-day program to stop and reverse heart disease. Just ahead, I'll preview some important things in this book that you can start using today, including what actually causes heart disease and how you can stop it. And I want you to know that you can get a free copy of my book just for trying a no-risk subscription to the Heart Health Report for a few pennies a day, but more on that in a moment. First, I want to show you why it's important to have the right information on heart health by telling you what I experienced just before I had a heart attack scare. This information can literally save your life. Back in 2002, I returned to LaGuardia Airport for my flight home after a New York business trip. When I pulled my travel bag out of the car, I felt a sharp pain in my shoulder. I shook it off as a minor muscle pull, especially when after boarding the plane, the pain went away. After my flight home, I picked up my bag again, and the pain returned. Still, I didn't think much of it, because by the time I got home, the pain was already gone. I did, for a second, consider that this pain could be heart-related. But I was used to the minor muscle aches and pains that come with tennis, swimming, and jogging. Besides, I was so happy to see my wife and kids, I forgot about it, and the next morning I felt fine. My wife was going out for her morning run, so I decided to follow along, but I couldn't even make it to the end of the driveway before the pain came back, and this time it was severe. Immediately, I broke into a cold sweat, felt faint, and nauseated. I realized this was serious, and I had to get to the hospital. By the time the medical team had me on the table in the emergency room, I was in severe, agonizing pain. I had the classic widowmaker, a blockage in the left anterior descending artery of my heart, also called the LAD, which feeds the bulk of your heart muscle. Mine was 98% blocked. They called this the widowmaker because that much blockage in the LAD typically results in death. Yes, a heart attack can happen just like that, right out of the blue. I had no family history of heart disease. I didn't have diabetes. And even though I was often stressed and overworked, I still found time to exercise and generally felt good. What's more, I had experienced no obvious symptoms until just the day before. That's why heart disease is called the silent killer. Fortunately, an emergency heart procedure saved my life, and this close brush with death forced me to confront the old saying, Doctor, heal thyself. I did by making simple dietary and lifestyle changes that have kept me healthy and robust to this day. I will share these simple changes just ahead so that you can make them too. But don't worry about taking notes during this brief presentation. All of this valuable information and much more is in my book, Fix It, Dr. Crandall's 90-day program to stop and reverse heart disease. Plus, I've written a special report entitled, These Four Things Happen Just Before a Heart Attack 
which contains the life-saving information you need to avoid becoming a victim. Remember, both my book and special report are yours free just for trying a no-risk subscription to Heart Health Report for a few pennies a day. But more on that in a moment. First, let me show you what causes heart disease. And to do that, I need to ask another question. Again, you'll see two buttons, one for answer A and one for answer B. Simply click on the one that's closest to your situation. Question two, what do you know about your blood lipids, including your cholesterol and triglycerides? A, I know my numbers for total cholesterol, plus the individual numbers for my good and bad cholesterol, and also my triglycerides. B, I know only my total cholesterol number, or I don't know any of my numbers. Go ahead, take your time, but click the answer A button or the answer B button, whichever is closest to your situation, and then we'll continue. 